The origin of the cave has a place of worship. It's, it's controversial. Tradition states that Don Pelayo Chase and a criminal would, who would uh, have taken refuge in this cave met a hermit who worshipped the Virgin Mary. The hermit begged Palayo to forget the criminal since he had taken the refuge of the protection of the Virgin and told him that they would come when two would need to seek the refuge in the cave. Some historians say the most plausible thing is that Palayo and the Christians taking refuge in the Muslim cave took an image of the Virgin with them and left it there after her victory and the battle of Kubadonga. The Muslim Chronicles about the Battle of Kubadonga says that Pelayo forces took refuge in, in this cave, feeding on the honey left by the bees in the cleft of the rock. Christian Chronicles affirm that miraculous intercession of the Virgin Mary was decisive in the, vic in the victory by repelling the attacks against the cave. The first construction of the Santa Cueva dates from the time of Alfonso I, the Catholic who commemorated the victory of Don Pelayo against the Muslim, ordered the construction of the chapel dedicated to the Virgin Mary, which would give, uh, give rise to the dedication of the Virgin of Covadonga. In addition to the altars of the Virgins, two others were built for San Juan Bautista and San Andres. Alfonso I added over the church to the Benedict Mounts. And this is where I want to start the story about our servant of Jesus Elena Calero Palmont. And she went to Covadonga during the time was healed. To visit the Virgin was a great moment to her during while she was a had the opportunity to discover more deeply to God. During this time, even with limitation of the disease, that made her tired and fatigued on severe pain. She did not let to be the soul of the youth group of the cathedral. We could enjoy of her with her pilgrimage of on Rome on the occasion of the year of the faith in August 2013 in the Santuario of Covadonga in July of 2014. Of this pilgrimage around her, she growed Covadonga. Thank you, uh, you Lord. Bless the fruits, bless the mother of Jesus. Elena tend to Eucharist to celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of Our Lady. During the celebration, she started to feel quite unwell, but, but she stayed there while it lasted. Since she wanted to live this great uh, day with uh, Mary and she be able to receive uh, to the Lord in Holy Communion. That same day of the Assumption of the Virgin, at the end of the Eucharist, Elena entered to the clinic of the Manclova in Madrid, where she stayed on, until she was transferred to the hospitals of the princess. Who are the ways of the Lord precisely on the solemnity of the Assumption? When Mary is taking body and soul into the glory of heaven, Elena begins the process of personal glorification uh, of her. And precisely the Lord leaves uh, her as signs, and she gives us a sign, the flesh of Mary participating in the glory of her son. That has not had the last word in, in Maria. Those is not without significance as well. That is was this day when Elena began to final stage of her life. She was admitted to the hospital until, until the end of his days. She loved with a great affection for the Virgin Mary. Mary, her glory with Elena and her prompt glorification of her.